Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is Vasa, and you guys are watching Bot Bot 101. Let's go! So, in today's video, we are back and we are going to play another round of Charna. Because last time we played it, it was kind of interesting. We got through talking to Mother Nature, and we also, uh, I think we passed through the Dark Forest. So now we're in a new area called Star Sight. And the story is getting interesting. We have finished two chapters in the first video, which is linked right up here. Y'all can go back and watch it. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit right on the gameplay screen. And, before I start off, I also want all of you guys to like, you know, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell icon, and then give this video a thumbs up if you are going to enjoy it. I'm telling you right now, so that y'all can be prepared, because I know y'all are going to love this video. Okay, so I'll see you in a second, right on the gameplay screen. Okay, here we are on the main menu screen, so let's go over to chapters, we be we went through Mother Nature, past the Dark Forest, now we are at chapter 3, Star Sight. Okay, okay, here we are at star site. Okay, now let's first get an idea of where we are supposed to be going. So we're not going this way. Hang on, I need a thumbnail shot. Wait, let's, uh, right here. Yeah, that's a nice thumbnail shot. Okay, so let's try and remember... some whispering going on over here okay concerning wolves the wolf is a proud creature one that is respected and feared by many folk who know but who know believe in the old ways they are often perceived as demonic beings so much so in fact that during some celebrations it is considered a bad omen to even mention them during the times of Christmas, it is especially forbidden to speak of the animal cloaked in grey, even more so to harm or kill one. Some believe that the wolf is capable of stealing the voice of the human folk, using it for themselves. Some believe that those who have since passed from the world of the living, if buried in a wolf fur, wolf's fur, will rise from the grave in the form of a twisted beast, a man bounded inside a wolf. That's kind of scary. Okay. And we have a big, big relic right here. What's this thing? Okay. Concerning... Whatever that says. Chapter 1. Chapter 1 says, whatever that says, the literal word that speaks of a dog's head. This being is demonic. Demonic Deity often described as a strange blend of human and wolf with a single gigantic eye sitting in its forehead center. Some say it has huge teeth, some say they are made of iron, some say that it stands upon the legs of a horse, but some say many things. Okay, so maybe we're in a more dangerous area. Okay, wait. And now there's another relic right behind it. Okay. Ah, what do you gotta say? Concerning whatever that says, chapter 2. Whatever it is resides in sunless, hidden areas and dark caves where there are many precious gems and chunks of gold. And that's it from chapter 2. Is that another one right there? Wait, time out. I can't hear you, sweet. Time out. Wait, now. Oh, that's really loud now. Hang on. Wait. Okay, wait, where am I going? Yeah, I think we're going this way. Okay, what's this gotta say now? Chapter 3. Wow, they're all just in order. That's more easier for me. Hey, I'll try and pronounce it. I think the P is silent, so it's... Soglave survives a hunting human fork... Folk? And eating their flesh, tearing every last piece from carcass and bone. However, if none can be found, the Solgav will disturb 
the dead and haunt in graveyards, reaching down into the earth and feasting on the remains. If the monster cannot be sated by the flesh of humans, it is not unheard of Solgaths restoring to cannibalism. Res resorting to cannibalism. I know y'all think that I can't read. I could read. It's just hard when you're playing a game and you have a lot of stuff running through you at the same time. Wait, where am I going? Okay, wait. I was done with this one. Oh, wait. I could run too. I forgot. Ooh, what the hell is that? Whoa! Are we in a... Beep. Hey. Wait. So it's a boss battle? I wasn't prepared for that shit. Wait, time out. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm done reading that. I think I just passed by these, because I've already read these. Okay, wait. So wait, I'm in a boss battle now? I didn't get any warning for that. And there's no defense mechanism. Like, there's no way to defend yourself. Yeah. Okay, wait. I think we're fighting this dude over here. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know who I'm hitting or what I'm doing. Wait, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Six and a half hours later. That's unfair. I don't know how to do a boss fight with tiny ass arms. That's so unfair. I have tiny ass hands. I can't even like, like am I just? Oh, you can't even. Okay, wait. Time out. I'm a, I'm a blitz it. Give me a second. I wasn't expecting a boss battle that fast. It's only like chapter three. Okay, okay, wait. I think we got this. We got this. We got this. Come on. Three weeks later. Okay, wait. I need to recharge everything. I need to recharge everything. Hey. Come here. No, no. Ah! Time out. They couldn't make it simpler, could they? Wait, 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 wait. I think I could do this. Do I just... Do I have to fight him, or can I just run for the portal? Wait. Charge up, charge up, charge up. Why he got melee attacks? Oh, what the hell? Hang on, hang on, wait, time out. Hey, 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 be kind. Oh, hello. Time out. Here, wait. Is he up here with me? Oh! Oh, yes he is. Why do I sound like a guy who's getting hit? Okay, wait. I think I got it now. Hey, where is he at? Where is he at? That's unfair. He's faster. Oh, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I win? I think I beat him. Okay, wait. I think I I think I beat him. So wait, where am I going now? Whew. I think I'm going this way for the totem, I guess. Yep. Yes, there's a totem. There's two totems. That's one. There are three totems. Two, three. Okay, wait. Now, if I fall from here, what's the possibility of me actually living? Wait, let me check it. Do I take fall damage? I'm not sure, but that's a long way down. So let's... Okay, no fall damage. Good to know. Hey, let's go. Let's go. We beat chapter 3. That was easy. Not really, though. 
We beat chapter 3. Yay! Yay! We beat chapter 3. Tan -taran, tan -taran. Okay. Here is. Oh, I have. Okay, wait, where am I? What the hell? Okay, what area is this? I'm not sure the name of the area, but it's new. I'm not sure what the dude's saying, but I killed him. I killed him for sure. Y'all saw it. It's proof. I killed him. Okay, wait. I think there are two paths to go from here. Nope, they just circle around and go to the same one. Hang on. Hey, relic. That don't look right, but okay. Concerning Morana, chapter one. Some say that she brings shadow to the she brings shadow to the world, and she carries the frost between her cold, slender fingers. She is known as Morana, the goddess of winter and death, feared by the common folk for the harsh season seasons she ha bought with her. Although many would say that she was misunderstood. A misunderstood being, for she could not help but be followed by the chill of the storm and the blizzard of the underworld. Okay. Now where's chapter 2? Because apparently you have to follow the chapters to make sure you're going in the wrong, right, right, right direction, the correct way. I think that's chapter 2 over there. Oh wait, I see a totem. Oh, that was fast. Hello. That's one of three. Here's chapter 2 of Morana. When winter would shed in its last snowflake, and when the rivers would continue their journey, it was said that Morana has passed from the world. With her parting, it would leave way for the rebirth of spring in the form of the goddess Vesna. Okay, that's, uh, two for two, meaning I'm going in the right direction. Wait, 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 hang on, yeah, okay, I'm going this way. Let's look right, that looks like a path. I see it. Oh no, that's a rock. Wait. I walked all the way over here for no reason. For apparently, no reason whatsoever. Okay, making our way through. Is that another totem? Is that another totem? No, it's just a candle. It's just a candle. And I think. I think that's chapter 3 of Mo Morana. That's chapter. Hello, is that Morana? That's chapter 4. I missed chapter 3. In early spring, peasants, especially children, would fashion small dolls from straw, which they would then drown in a river or burn. It was believed that destroying and represent any representation of the deathly goddess would remove any trace of her chilling presence and thus bring out the arrival of spring. I missed chapter 3. Wait a second. Did I miss chapter 3? I'm not sure. Hang on. Let's check back this path. I'll be- I'll- I'll, I'll get to you guys if I didn't miss chapter 3. <laughs> nope, I don't think I missed chapter 3 at all. Because there's no chapter back here. Unless it's straightforward. No, that's blocked off. Hang on. That's chapter 4, then where the hell is chapter 3? Oh, wait, there's another path that goes off from here. Maybe chapter 3 is on the left of that. Where the lights were on. Maybe there's chapter 3 over there. I'm assuming that chapter 3 should be over here. Oh, wait, no, it's a totem. So that's 2 of 3. I'm guessing this is chapter 3 then. 
Yep, this is chapter 3. Because she is the goddess of winter which brought about death in various forms as well as diseases, Morana was a god that received little love. Oh, that's it? Okay. Now we could go to the other side. And we could see what the hell is over on that side. So let's split it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, wait, I'm kind of acting a little weird now. Uh, yeah, okay, I got two totems, I think. I wasn't counting. So now we got chapter one, two, three, and four. Three and four are kind of like what in front of the other. So yeah, my mistake. I'm sorry, I should have looked around. I think this is another chapter. This should. Yeah, why is the grass taller? Is the grass bigger than me, or like am I just. I think there's another totem right here. Hey, yo, totem! There it is. Yeah, that is the sound of activating uh, a portal, I'm guessing. But I don't want. I saw a chapter here. Wait, where the hell did it go? Okay, there it is. Hey, Morana, there you go. Chapter number five. If I'm correct. Yep. As the spring arrives and as winter fades, it is understood that Morana passes into the underworld, leaving behind the rebirth of spring. Although even with her passing, all folk know that she will be reborn in the next winter. Alright, does that mean I'm going this way now? Yo, I'm not expecting a boss battle right now, so y'all better calm down with that shit. No boss battles. Okay. Here's the end of chapter 4. Wow, that was a short chapter. Woo! Well, that was the end of Charna chapter 4. In today's gameplay, we play chapter 3 and 4, where we got a boss battle, we got some more of the backstory, and we are more interested into seeing what's going to happen next. Once again, if you guys are new to the BotBot family, don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's down below. Hit the bell icon that's right next to it, and also give this video a big thumbs up, because I know y'all liked it, because of the story of this game. Anyway, that's enough from me. BotBot101 out. See y'all in the next video. Peace.